Hunters back here? Or, or okay. It's called Hunters, Hunters and something. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he got second place. I forgot who got first, but so. Really good ZSS player. Yeah, and let's see what Zero. I'm excited to see. I have yet to see any of his gameplay, but I know he's good. He made <laughs> it to this point, caused some upsets to get here. Definitely good with his character. Okay, well, let's wait for, for uh, Sam Sora to just put away his, his AirPods. He's ready. He's ready to go. He's good to go. But yeah, I hope you're all enjoying the action here at Prime Saga. I'm sure you can hear the crowd behind us getting real hyped. Getting real, but, I mean, real we got, We have, of course, you know, two streams going on. We have BTS Smash holding it down here with Edmund and Z-Fly. And then the 2G Gaming stream as well. But let's jump right into yeah. game one, starting off with the Zare from Shu. Keep that multi-twitch up, man. All right. All right. All right. I like the patience that's being exercised by Shu. He knows who he's up against right now, so he's not trying to overcommit to anything right away. Zero Suit Sam is also not quite the aggressive player uh, or character that she used to be. She still has really great movement, which is her claim to fame in this game, right? Like, the great movement, she's able to bait out options and punish accordingly. She can do, uh, yes, but she can still also, you know, fish with Nairs. Yes. Uh, Zare to grab is still an option right, that yeah. she has. And of course, um, she still has like her up air strings. Yeah, the up air is obviously a uh, main difference being that she does she can't quite connect into the boost kick for the uh, kill. She doesn't have that same ladder KO confirm as she did in Smash 4, but she's still a uh, relevant character, I would say, in this meta, just not not uh, top tier. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But of course, you know, having the addition of forward air, forward air, back air yes. as like a kill oh, that's confirm. Nice. That's Ooh, nice. yeah. It's so nice. All right. But Crossing up with Nair, putting Sansora into the air. Now, one thing about Sansora's play is that he really uses game one yeah. for data. So pretty much every option that Shu is picking or how he's approaching or the amount of times he's zaring, Sansora is making a mental note and is going to apply all that data to the, few, the rest of the set. For sure, great dash attack from Sansora here using the up thrown turn up. Yeah, even just like dashing back, not applying even too much pressure at the ledge, which is something that we're probably going to see more in the following games. Is able to connect that up smash for the first KO, despite trailing in percent in the early early stock. That's right. So once the data is downloaded from, oh, ooh, yo, reaching hello. with that forward air, good stuff, Shu. Yeah, no time wasted. We're going to be back down to zero, two stocks apiece. That's right. As you can see, Sam Sora is starting to speed up a little bit. He's picking up the tempo, starting to get in Shu's face just a little bit faster. Oh, we see the Zare connecting, but not able to follow up with the jab. And look at the spacing coming out from Shu. He really does not want Sam Sora to get anywhere near him. The dash attack does whiff, and now we see a slight punish. Sam Sora is floating around. Stunner does not connect. Okay. Great uh, flip jump to try to get out of the dangerous situation, but Sam Sora having that option coverage either way. That's right, Nair on the shield, Nair back air out of shield. Really just chasing Shu around the stage, but Shu does make a slight misinput, and now he's finding himself on the left side trying to recover. Yo, and I gotta say, Z Fly, it was, you were telling me how Sam Sora usually takes this game one to gather data and destroy his opponent in the following game. It's not even looking like he even needs a whole game, just a single stock. He's got a massive lead in this first game. Well, it's really difficult for, for Shu. He's not up. We're not really seeing him fish with Nairs. He's going for a lot of Zares, but which is really safe, especially since, you know, uh, uh, Peach doesn't really have a gap closer. Oh, yo, the hard read coming out from Satsora. Unfortunately, not so fruitful. Shu just maintaining presence of mind not jumping into that up smash. Yeah, but we need to see some, some type of move made from Shu. He needs to really... Uh, oh, he's got a hard comeback to make. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Make something happen. But we see it cross the back air, and we just reach him with another back air. Does not connect. And now Sansora on the chase. Ooh, okay. Really scary for Shu right here. Okay, good oh parry of the God. Nair. And now forward throw. What is the turn up setup? Oh, using the side B to just get Sansora away from the, dead, the ledge. Yeah, and unfortunately, the whiffed grab is going to get easily punished by that dash attack. Sam Sora cleaning up game one with a solid two stock. I mean, if if it takes him a game to gather data, you know, you were telling me this yesterday after he had gone game three with Ben, right? Because yes. Ben won that first game, but then he completely destroyed him in the oh, games decimated. two and three. Decimated. But that's not even the case right here. And this is, this is a whole, like, 
different caliber of player. I mean, Ben also a great player in his own right, second in his own region, only to foe. But like, this is a man who's the best in his region and causing upsets to get to this point, just getting kind of mollywopped after after that first thought. I mean, it may be just that uh, Shu doesn't want to review all the cards. He really That's just wants true. to play a very basic game and then, you know, look for his opportunity right there, using Zer into up smash, and now we're getting a few up airs to boot. And I have to say, Z Fly, it really did feel that way. Like, like Shu equally smart, also gathering data, <laughs> and it's looking like he's showing a little bit more aggression to, to kick off game number two. Oh, but oh, that turn no. up gonna send Shu, gonna catch the recovery, and that's gonna put Sansora in the lead. And you can see it in the player cam, man. Shu did not feel that great about a. Yeah, not, of course, getting losing your stock like that, you don't want to see it happen. But, ooh, Toad coming in clutch, blocking, you know, taking the shot for his princess. Sounds like there's an uh, off-stream off upset about to happen. It sounds like uh, people are cheering for HLB, but we'll find out about that later. Okay, up tilt, and now we see Nair into back air from Shu. Not enough to take the stock, especially, like, on a big stage like Battlefield. Oh, oh, the drift. All right, able to get back onto the ledge, but not onto the stage. The side special coming out for Zero Suit Samus and Shu taking that stock. That's right. Now we see Sam Sora trying to fish for something. Gets the down tilt into forward air. Dude, it's so sneaky. Able to escape the uh, falling up air into up smash. Ooh, look at these ledge traps from Sam Sora. We're going to see a back throw put. Just reset, push you right back in that situation. Yo. Even covering Yo. the high recovery with a turn up. Gone, getting, getting turn up. Oh man, Shu is starting to get in his head a little bit, man. Yeah, I mean, Sam Sora just in placing turnups in the correct position, making it very difficult for Shu to make it back to the stage. Okay, platform extension, unable to follow up with the third up air, but still keeping up with the chase. That's right, cross up back air does connect for Shu, but Sam Sora able to make it back with the help of the parasol. Oh, here we go, Nair into the RAR back air. Yo, flip jump into the forward air too. Oh, double boost, oh. double uh, Peach Bomber just to get a little bit more movement. But a side B does get the sweet spot, but not the stock. Yeah, the plasma whip, not enough. Charge up. Okay, Nair off stage, and we can see more turn up play. Yeah, that that uh, side special is definitely get online as a kill option, especially by the ledge for zero suit. So if you can connect one or more of those, or even a forward air off stage, a back air even. Yeah, but good stuff from for it. Sam Sword, making sure that if Chu is going to go off stage, he's going to have a little bit more trouble with landing those aerials. Ooh, oh, nice. Another side B connecting for Shu. All right, down to our final stocks in this game here. Shu doing a really good job of maintaining a healthy life at 56%. Zero suit. Kind of a light character, but not too bad. Not, we could definitely work with this. That's right. And if Sansora isn't able to really touch Shu, if, she, if Sansora isn't able to land a Nair or any type of combo starter, it's going to be looking real good for Shu. Okay, a Nair onto another shield from... Yo, whoa, what the... Yo! Throwing out all the jabs. <laughs> okay, there's another neutral air coming out from Shu. Landing into the jabs. Yeah, He's got good. him stuck at the ledge. This is where he wants him, man. He's doing so good by the ledge, especially with the plasma whip as a threat. Right, Chu trying to use the, the down air to get back to stage, but there's Mr. Sen and don't Woo! hold that R button. Woo! Woo! Okay, I'm Mr. Scared. Oh my god. Please. Now Sansora actually has really good item combos, Yo. but the earthquake from down air does connect. Yo, he caught he gonna, it with the upper. Is he gonna use it? Oh, it throws it at Sansora, but F tilt gonna come out from Sansora. Alright. See how Shu's gonna bring this back. Connects the Saturn into the forward air. Oh. Another Saturn. Oh, with oh, a down to whip. Down smash. Oh, yo! Up throw, no way. Great DI. Great DI from Sam Sora. Sam Sora living to 167% right here. This is all or nothing for Shu. He wants to bring this to an even set count. Now, with Shu taking both stocks with, of course, the plasma whip, you know he's going to be yes. using that for his tried and true to take the stock. Oh, but we see another. No. And that's no. it. Three stocks with turnips. No. Oh, man. You hate to see it, bro. You see saw the way Shu lost all three of those stocks in that game, and he was mounting such an amazing comeback. The Plasma Whip was finding him so so much success by the Lich. Not only is it a really strong kill option, but even before uh, Peach is in those KO percents, the Plasma Whip, if you hold it out, it actually pops your opponent upwards, so you're still able to harass with more uppers, more aerials, and add on more damage to the point where the next Plasma Whip will kill.
But Here yeah, we got I mean, game like, three, Samsora up 2-0. Oh. Great memory. You gotta remember that Samsora is a player that really takes all the data in uh, at a time. This means Shu showed his cards that he does in fact use the side B quite a bit yeah. to, as a kill confirm. And Samsora, you know, being in that that very uh, last hit situation was looking for it. Ooh, Barry, not gonna get any sort of punish out of it though. Okay, now you see Samsora chilling at the ledge. Okay, but the Plasma Whip does connect. Now we see Samsora being forced to recover. Samsora uh, spending a little bit more time uh, at the ledges as we see Shu playing a little more evasive here in game two. Really not taking the direct approach towards Samsora. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, after all, he's down two games. Dude, he just scratched his face in the middle of playing with, with both hands still on the controller. <laughs> I mean, hey, when you got that, you know, you know. You know. Got to get the itch <laughs> away, man. You yeah. can't play with the itch. No, no distractions for sure. But, okay, and now Shu able to make it back to stage. No turn up setups from Samsora, and that's kind of what Shu should be looking for at this point, Yo. especially after how he lost his stocks in game two. But floating towards center stage, recovering high from is Samsora. All right, both players on the stage right here, just kind of feeling each other out. Back air. Oh, he chases so deep, able to get the tech. Not going to lose his life, but the back throw will close it out. And the way he was able to keep Shu at the ledge is he actually got one hit with the parasol, which just put Shu into free fall. Yeah. But boost kick out of shield. Now, any other stage probably would have taken the stock, but not yeah, a battlefield. Yeah, battlefield, incredibly big stage. Blast field, blast zones really wide, also uh, high ceiling. So, Okay, cross up back air, not going to find Sansora, just a shield, and we see a great pivot back air from Sansora. Man, the combos that come out from Sensor. We haven't too ma seen too many uh, Z drop turnip combos. They're starting to show off a little bit more there. Plasma Whip not killing from the rightmost side of the stage off the left. That's right, and Shu just having so much difficulty taking out this stock, even though Sensor is sitting at 162%. Peach Bomber right back to the ledge and parrying that, yeah. that parallel. That's just a flex right there. Man, <laughs> he didn't need to do that. All right, and he's going to answer for it, too. The up smash for Shu, bringing us down to two stocks apiece. There's a turn up into dash attack. You know, putting the same, putting the, the turn ups in those high positions, making sure that uh, Shu can't actually retreat to the platform. Very smart. He was caught doing that quite a bit in game two, and he got punished for it. Okay, back air connecting on to Shu. Shu finds himself in this di difficult situation again. Samsora. Recovering, but the kickflip does not send Sensora down. Ah, man. Shu really needed that. After all, he's trailing by a considerable margin right here. 126 to uh, Samsora 65. Okay, more turnips coming on to, of course, Samsora telling him to eat his vegetables. Eat your veggies, man. And I mean, it really, like, you know, it seems like Samsora, he's throwing out a lot of these turnips, but the more he pulls turnips, the more it benefits him. Eventually, he may get a stitch eye, he may get a dot eye, which do more knockback, more damage. Dot eye? Forget the dot eye. What about the bomb bomb? Oh, snap. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Forget about, forget about turnips, bro. You're trying to die at 40? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, but you don't even need the bomb bomb. Oh, this snap. Oh, the no. stitch face. There it was, man, at 100. Uh, a very d high red percent. And a Saturn right away, too? That's right. Come on, dude. I mean, that's not let's, fair. let's just throw everything at that's you. That's not fair. Okay, Yo. but getting the boost kick, that's going to be a stock game. Putting Sansor at 1-1 one, one apiece. Yeah, Shu keeping this game competitive, but he is down by two. So he's got to win this to even keep himself alive. That's right. We see Nair into jabs on the shield. F-Smash does connect. A very aggressive uh, uh, F-Smash. Knowing that it would just gonna it would just gonna be damaged. There's no exact no exactly real follow-up from it. I really like the way Shu is trying to close the gap here. He's not. Uh, he's maintaining his threat bu threat bubble outside of Samsora's own threat bubble. Yeah, he's really uh, committing to using his second double jump or his second jump just to like really oh, throw yo, off any turn ups. On, dude. Another Saturn. <laughs> that's, that's three Saturns. Yo, come on, bro. Okay, are we, yeah, okay, Sensor opting to keep Saturn in play. Throwing it down just to cover the roll in case uh, Shu does try and get behind her. But a couple of up airs putting Sensor in the air, and now back air to boot. Yo, okay, what great coverage with the up thrown turn up. Yeah, and no Shu. second jump. He kept using his second jump to try to approach Sensor, yeah. caught onto that, and only took one forward air, and the game knew that it was over. Yeah, man, <laughs> critical finish.
It's like he didn't explode off the blast zone, but we know. We know. You know he, it was he over. Gone. It was over. He's gone. <laughs> All right, well, good 3-0 from Sansor. That was the